Hey, what's going on everyone? Cairo here and today we are going to be building some farms. Now, before we go ahead and start building our farms, there's some prep work that we need to do and something really fun that I want to show you guys. So on the server, there's currently a Halloween event where you can obtain some prizes. So you just want to do slash spawn like this and around spawn. I'll wait for it to load and around spawn there are going to be 50 hidden heads throughout the spawn and you have to find all of them in order to get some fun tags and rewards so I just wanted to start off today's episode by going through and seeing how fast we can find all 50. I already see one over there at the corner of my screen so we're going to start now and just go ahead and see um, how fast we can get these. Um, you see in the chat there it says you have found one treat. And yeah, I'm going to keep looking for them. I think there's another one in this building. I'm going to go ahead and might speed this up later in editing, but depending on how long it takes for me to find these, we'll see. Let's see where else, where else could a head be? Possibly over in this area. But yeah, I kind of just wanted to start off today's episode, you know, seeing who my viewers are, asking you guys how you're doing. Um, you know, if you guys have any questions about me, you know, feel free to leave them in the comments. And yeah, I just wanted to see how you guys are just days going and, you know, kind of want to communicate better with everybody, see where we're all at. Let me know what kind of content you guys want to see. And I'll do my best, obviously, to put that out. But yeah, we're, we're at number six already, so there's 50. So I think I'm going to go ahead and probably speed this through. Alright guys, a little help of some random player, shout out Kara1331 for showing me this one. We just got our 30th treat, so we have 20 more left, let's see if we can find them. I'm gonna hype players, like I showed you guys last episode of HP, because I kinda didn't want anybody to spoil one for me, but, oh, and there's one over there, I think we got that one. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and just keep looking, and we'll check back in with you guys once we hit 50. All right, guys, I'm back. The only place I haven't checked too well is the outside of this. So I'm going to go around and see if I'm missing any of these. I'm pretty sure I got the one over here, but I didn't go into F5 and check the outsides of this too well. So I'm going to see if I could find one maybe just hidden in here somewhere. Let's try to find it. Um, 
yeah, if it's not here, then it's probably back where you spawn in, because I haven't gone over that area too well either. Pretty sure I got this one. I did. I really don't know where I could... Oh. Oh, I think it's this one right here. I don't know if I've gotten this one. This might be number 50 right here, so... Hey, there we go. As you see in chat, we have all 50 treats, so I think... Either now or when I re-log. Oh no, it already came. So I have these three treats from getting that. So I have treat, candy apple, and spine chills. I think I'm going to go with the treat tag. I like it a lot. So I'll go ahead and equip that. And yeah, back to the video. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that little hunt. Now back to our island to get started with the episode. So I want to show you guys some things. If you do slash missions and navigate over to your personal missions which is the one with your head on it you'll see five tiers of missions now these are locked until you complete all of the missions in the previous tier so until i finish all the basic missions the advanced missions won't unlock so what i want to do is click on the basic missions and you can see i already completed one mission here the um mining mission which is how we got our specialty pick and what I want to focus on today is completing this farmer mission right here. As you can see, the rewards will unlock something for us. It's called the Farmer's Harvester. Now, that basically is a very powerful tool in this game that tracks how many crops you farm. And in exchange, it gives you more levels of fortune onto your harvester. And you can use it to track any crop other than i believe sugarcane and it will keep giving you more and more drops the more you farm of a certain crop so if you get it up to you know level 10 then you're going to get like 10x the drops or 10 times the drops and basically by completing this farmer mission we'll unlock it but we'll also unlock something else so since we already completed our mining mission here once we complete two missions, we unlock a servant. And basically, servants are little NPCs that will automatically mine or kill for you. They are upgradable, and they collect all their drops in their own inventory, which you're allowed to empty out and sell whenever you want. I'll show you guys more once we have it unlocked. But in order to get this mission started, the first thing that we really need to do is expand our island. Like you can see here, our island is really small. We don't have enough room to grow any kind of crops. Like everything is kind of touching each other. And, you know, we want to have some space so that way we can have a big, huge farm. And we're very high up, up high right now. You can see on my little mini map on the top left. Let me just zoom that in. We're at Y127 right here. I want to get down all the way to the bottom there. So... In order to do that, there's a couple of things that we can do. We can either, you know, place a water bucket down, you know, swim down the water bucket and do it that way. Or you can use slash fly, which I have unlocked. And you might be wondering, hey, how do I get fly? So there are a few ways you can unlock slash fly. So if I just do slash fly, it's disabled. Now it's enabled. So now I can fly around my island and I can look around it and do everything I want to do. So there are actually a few ways that you can unlock slash fly. You can get it through the web store by doing slash buy and then navigating over here to sky block ranks and going over to perks. And you can see that fly is $3.99 US. And if you click on that, you know, it'll give you a link. You can press that and then fill out that information and get it that way. You can also do slash buy and get any rank above sunflower so if you get this rank you get fly and then any rank above that so i have wither rose rank so if i type in chat hey you see i have wither rose next to my name and yeah that will unlock slash fly if you don't have slash fly like i said you can always just place this water down and swim down it a good old-fashioned way and do it there are also a couple of ways I wanted to show you guys to unlock fly um, without having to pay. 
So if you grind a lot on the server and you make a lot of money, there's a, something called a black market. So the black market spawns at the top of every hour. So at 7, it'll spawn. At 8, it'll spawn. At 9, it'll spawn. And so on and so forth. And it'll spawn for 15 minutes. It spawns over here. So if I go to slash spawn, I'll show you guys where the black market building is at. I don't want to go down there because keep in mind, there is, it's in a PVP zone. So if you go there and you die, you lose your stuff. So you really have to be careful. So just so you guys know where to go, the spawn's right there. You look left at this yellow building. And if you run past this yellow building right here, there's this blue building down there. And if you look right there, I'll zoom in for you guys. There's actually a little entrance. It's a staircase that goes down. And that will lead you to the black market tunnels. So at the top of every hour, if you run down over here, you'll be able to go to the black market and, you know, get some loot like custom rare tags and legendary tools, some spawners, some boosters. But like I said, you're able to purchase fly. Fly at the black market costs one and a half million uh dollars right here on on the side of your screen so if you have one and a half million you can buy it and it'll last for seven days so anybody can technically go my recommendation if you're gonna go to black market is to be ready by doing slash black market so black market will spawn in 23 minutes and 50 seconds so the first three minutes black market is active pvp is disabled but after that three minutes goes away you're going to be able to get killed and lose all of your stuff. So my recommendation is to get here before he spawns, right? And then right when he's about to spawn, you jump down there and you run as fast as you can into this. You could even bring some speed potions to, to do it faster, right? And you can go run down there, buy the stuff from the guy, and then you can get out. And I'll go over that on one of these episodes, you know, maybe we'll get some of our friends and and we'll go down into the black market just to protect us while we're down there and i'll show you the kind of stuff that they can have but let's go back to our island and yeah there's one last way that you can actually get slash fly you can do slash ah so you will see a lot of players selling notes like this like right here chandler has a fly note for 375 mil. These notes are permanent slash fly. So if I were to buy one of these and use it, I would permanently have slash fly on the server. Um, slash AH just stands for auction house. And it's great because players can list all sorts of tools and weapons and gear and tags and perks and for any price they please. So you can find some really good deals. So if I search fly, I press done. Um, I guess it won't show up through that, but you can actually search through categories. And if you do so through notes, you'll be able to see like ranks, like our dandelion ranks. You can see like all these cosmetics, permanent rank notes, tags, um, sky coins, and you can, you know, trade basically with people on a public marketplace. So just think of it like, you know, a public virtual marketplace where you can list your items, buy items, and etc. This is basically what sets the economy up. So if I were to go to all items, there's just pages and pages of stuff. And there's some people on the server that will just be watching this like a hawk. And that's how they make a lot of their money. They'll just buy stuff that are really cheap and, you know, they'll resell it for a profit. And I would recommend doing that if you're just getting started and you have some extra time. But personally, I want to focus more on the gameplay end of things. So I won't be using Auction House too much. But like I said, those are all different ways that you can get slash fly. And I have Wither Rose rank, so I already have fly. So what I'm going to do is just fly down here. If you don't, like I said, place a water bucket. You don't have to worry about like falling off or anything like that and losing your stuff. Because like I said, if you fall off, you just get sent back to your spawn. So what I want to do is actually buy... Um, I could use this cobblestone. So what I want to do is this pillar off the end of this. And I want to go all the way down to the bottom. And what I'm going to do at the bottom is build a platform for us where we can start all of our farms. And what I want to do 
is build it from border to border. So I have to go around like 30 more blocks. I don't want to get sent, so I have to be careful towards the bottom. Yeah, just a few more blocks. Boom, boom. Boom. Um, I guess I could go one block more, but I think it's just going to teleport me if I try. Yeah, so that's good enough for me. I'll go ahead and activate my fly. And I'll start our platform right here. I don't know what block I want to use yet. I don't have the most money. But I do believe that if I go back up here, so I can just type is go, I could put some of this stuff away. So from one of our prizes that we got, we have our pedal key. I'll open that later in the episode if we need the money. But I do know that we have these diamonds. So I'll save a diamond block and I'll grab some iron blocks and sell these and see if I can, you know, buy some cheap blocks to get us started i think maybe something like hmm you know maybe this polished blackstone it's gonna cost ten thousand for an inventory of it but i think it will be worth it so what i'm gonna do is actually break this All right, guys, so we're back, and if you look below our island, we have the full border-to-border -border platform complete. But you will also notice that I sold the rest of our diamonds, and I'm pretty broke right now. So in between episodes, I slash voted, and I have four unclaimed. So I'm going to claim all four of those. And instead of opening all four, I think what I'm going to do, just so I have a little bit of starter money, is sell to and open to so i'm gonna also grab our pedal key and go to warp crates and i'll put these ones in here so i don't accidentally open them and wish me luck huh? stack of gold blocks not the best but we're just gonna sell that for some money and a bunch of iron. Again, not the best, but we'll sell it for some money. Now, I think we have a pedal key, right? Yeah, pedal key. So we're going to open this one right here and wish us luck. Uh, so we got three advanced books. So these are all the custom enchants we have. So we can open these three. Let's see what we get. Enhance, consumable items, heal for more health, nightmare, and reinforced. So none of these are that great, but that's why we saved two of these. I'm actually going to check on AH to see what they sell for. So I'll type vote in the search. And they're selling for 15, 15, 15. So if I sell for 7, a hand, AH hand, and then I put 7 million like that. Um, I'll go ahead and leave those up there and see how long it'll take to buy. You know, they might buy instantly, it might take a while. So we'll check back in with you guys once they're sold. All right, so we're back and you could see right here that somebody actually bought our keys on AH. They bought both of them. And you also see he says, you received a servant. That is because one of the missions right here were to actually sell an item on AH. So I completed that mission and I have also completed the mining mission. So because I completed two missions, I have my servant unlocked. So what I'm actually gonna do is jump down here and type slash servants. I'm gonna select that servant. And we'll have our first servant placed right here. Now we can set him to either mining or slaying. And right now, I think it's better if we just set him to mining. I'll see what I could upgrade for him. Efficiency, that's pretty cheap since we sold those keys. I'm just going to upgrade him to the max. And mining, we don't have too much XP. So once we get some XP, I'll go ahead and, you know, upgrade that as well. But yeah, like I said, if you right-click on your servant, 
he'll automatically mine and sell stuff for you. So he's just going to be mining diamonds for me in the background. See, that's eight diamonds. I could collect them. I could do slash sell. And I could go ahead and I think I'm going to sell everything. Sell it all. And every single time he mines, he'll store the items here. You could also sell or collect everything from here. So if I just press this, it'll also collect everything. Um, and yeah, we'll see how he does probably next episode or maybe the episode after that. But now that we have some money, what I want to do is go ahead and start buying as much dirt as we can and start our farms. So I think I'm going to start in this corner here. So I'm going to do slash... Actually, I'll check AH first and see if anybody's selling dirt for cheap. Looks like nobody's selling dirt, so I'm going to go ahead and just do slash shop, go to building blocks, and it's going to cost a little bit of money, but I think it's going to be worth it. So I'll go ahead and do that. And I just want to build a big platform right here. Um, another cool perk that we have that helped me build this so fast is called fast place. So if I do slash fast place and I type a number like 64, I can go ahead and hold this dirt in my hand and I could press on the side of this block and I'll place 64 blocks in that direction. This is just very helpful if you want to like build big flat platforms or something like we're doing here. And I think it's just going to help us out a little bit here. I'm just going to try to build this platform in and we'll see let's see yeah that seems seems pretty good so i'll turn fast place off real quick and i'll just do this last layer by hand um we're gonna need an infinite water source down here and we're going to need to also buy some wheat seeds, carrots, and melons. So I'll check back in. I'll try to till all this land, place the water down, and I'll check back in once we start planting our first crops. All right, so we placed down all the dirt, filled in all the water, tilled it all, and we have this side here with carrots and this side here with wheat. Now, the only last thing we need to do is make a little bit of extra room. Go ahead and do this. Be a little bit longer, and we can just break these extra ones. Um, while I was doing that, I also needed some tools, and I forgot to actually show you guys this, but you guys can do slash kit. And you'll have all these kits over here. So if you have ranks, then you can claim your kit ranks and you can claim like minerals and all this kind of stuff. I would highly recommend claiming. I just claimed my Wither Rose kit. I'll probably claim these later if I end up needing tools and stuff. But yeah, definitely helped out. You know, I have myself a bit, way better pickaxe and a way better axe instead of this thing now. So, you know, it just helps that much more. Um, I got some seeds and carrots off of AH, which was a lot nicer than buying them in shop. Because in the shop, they sell for 10000 a piece and 9000 a piece. So it's just kind of a lot of money. Um, I actually can buy these in the shop. Yeah, I just need two rows and I need this uh, diamond hoe. So the only thing I have to do is harvest, let's see, 300 carrots, 350 wheat, and 100 melon blocks. So you know that this is 64 melon blocks. So basically what I'm going to do is just, uh, you know, sit here, wait for everything to grow. And when everything is all grown up, we'll do one harvest, chop it all down, and we'll do one more. And yeah, we should get our farmer's harvester at the end of this episode. I'll see you guys all when I'm back. All right, guys, and we're back. And if we type slash missions and check our personal missions, we have completed the carrots and the wheat, and we have 24 melons left. So I'm not sure if this will get us there. We have a decent amount, but we're almost there. So I'm going to go ahead and mine these. 
And if we're not there, then we'll really be close. Let's check it out. Nine more melons left. All right, here's one. That's eight melons left. And come on, grow quicker, please. This did take a while, you know. I did have to add another layer here. I guess what I can do is add another row right here. That way they have the option to grow on either side. And I'm probably going to need to buy some more dirt. So if I just do slash shop here, grab some dirt, a couple stacks. Oh, there's a melon. There's a few melons, actually. Seven melons left. Six melons left. Five, four. Three melons left. We should be almost there. Um, one thing I forgot to mention about the Farmer's Harvester was that it is unbreakable. And it's also untradeable. So one, you can't trade it and you can't break it. Which is really nice because I already went through like two of these diamond hoes just tilling the land. And I think if I break these last three here. One, two, three. There we go. And you can see my inventory. I have myself a Farmer's Harvester. And you could see that none of the crops are broken. It's because I have to break it with the farmer's harvester. So now I have one carrot broke. One carrot broke like that. And I can go ahead and replant these. And if I check this, I'll say five carrots broke. So you see that 2x drop rate. That can be all the way up to like 13x, I think I've seen it, or 14x. So. Yeah, you can really upgrade this thing and it'll help you out. It counts wheat, potatoes, carrots, beetroots, netherwort, melons, and pumpkins. I think the best ones are definitely going to be carrots and maybe melons. What's cool about this is if you use it on a melon, it turns into an axe, you see? So you can just insta-mine it. Boom, boom. Like that. Melons definitely would help for leveling it up since they just grow so quickly. So now if I go ahead and I break this, it'll turn back into a hoe like that, you see? And so yeah, that's uh basically it for this episode. We'll go ahead and expand this, you know, and next episode on that side, I want to go ahead and build a big cactus farm, but there's a few things that we need to do. So yeah, that's basically what I wanted to do today. I went ahead and built all of this. We got the farmer's harvester. I just collected my servant. This is what it gave me. Honestly, a pretty good amount of stuff. I would have just probably spent up there holding down my left mouse click and, you know, watching a video or something while it collected all that. But, you know, this is really nice and passive. I don't have to do that. I can spend my time farming and doing other stuff while my servant is just, you know, grinding away for us. Also, like once I have some uh, better XP, I can go ahead and increase the chance of better ores. So it'll mine like a lot more diamonds and emeralds and stuff like that. Next episode, I really want to go ahead and build a cactus farm. If I open F3 and G, you'll see that there's chunks. So I'll probably do it in this chunk right here. You could even mark it out like that. Right here and boom, boom. So in this chunk right here is where I'll build my cactus farm. And I'll show you guys how to do that next episode and also how to make a really good uh, amount of money. So yeah, that's about all for today's episode, everybody. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. And let me know what other kind of content you guys want to see down below in the comments. If there's anything that I forgot to mention or anything that you guys are confused about, also let me know down below. And yeah, thanks you guys so much for watching. See ya.